Hey guys, I'm Matt Pittman of Meat Church. Today, we're gonna be making something I've been making for over 20 years, fried turkey. Anytime I'm frying a turkey, I'm going to brine it because I want to impart serious moisture in the bird and I'm going to inject it with a Creole type seasoning for some extra serious deep flavor. So I've brined this turkey already overnight. It's a 12 pounder. Uh, we have a package of our Meat Church bird bath brine. We made a gallon mixture and we let this turkey sit in that overnight. I just pulled it out of the refrigerator. I rinsed it off and I patted it dry because you don't want it to be too salty. So this turkey's pretty dry, so I'm gonna spray it with a binder. Uh, I'm gonna use duck fat spray. You can use anything like an olive oil or any sort of spray that you want. This is just gonna help the seasoning adhere to it. Let's put a little, make this turkey a little bit wet. Okay, and now it's time to inject it. I'm gonna use uh, the Loco Cooker's Creole Injectable Marinade. Uh, you might try this, try like a Creole butter or honestly any, any flavor you want. I'm going to pour it in a cup because it's just easier to, to work the injector that way. So when I'm injecting on the breast here, I'm going to inject in three or four spots. And in each spot, I'm going to be taking this needle way down. And as I'm, as I'm injecting, I'm pulling the needle out, kind of doing things in a grid pattern and you don't want to shoot all your injection in a little pocket, so I'm trying to make it nice and even. So go about an inch and a half away, kind of do the same thing. Get it all around in that breast. You get to decide on your flavor profile, like how much you put in here. I really love this seasoning, so I'm going to load it up. You also want to make sure you inject the leg and thigh if you like that. You know, kind of, kind of do whatever you want. Like, I like this thing to be super flavorful. Load it up. Watch this thing just pump up with all that flavor. Get it down here in the thigh. Just do as much as you want. All right, one last spot here. This bad boy is loaded up. You can see all that inside there. It smells amazing. Now it's time to season it. Of course, we're going to use our Holy Voodoo. Got to be the most popular turkey seasoning on the planet. But use whatever you want. Use whatever flavor profile you like. This was a, a proven winner last year, so we're going all in on it this year. I'm going to try to apply this as evenly as possible. You know, fried turkeys don't always come out the prettiest, but at least we can season it nice and evenly. And I'm going to season all over because with a fried turkey, the prize is that fried skin. So let's get it all over. Make sure you get underneath the wings, even on the back. I'm going to put some down in the cavity. All right. This is a salt predominant rub. You don't want to use a rub that's too sugary because it'll burn. This rub does have a little sugar in it, uh, but you don't want to use a too sugary rub because your turkey will come out real black from burning all that sugar. All right, that looks pretty good. I'm going to let this sit and we're going to go get our fryer ready. Okay, so I've got some peanut oil in my new loco frying rig here. I've had a ton of different turkey fryers over the years. I was looking for something to up my game a little bit. I love this one. Uh, it's got some cool new controls. It's got this igniter so I don't have to use a, a match or whatever to light the fire. And it's also got this temperature control that will keep your oil from going over 400 degrees. Um, I always see people putting too much oil in and getting it too hot and causing fire in their garage. So cook with what you want, but I choose to kind of cook with the best. So let's get this thing rolling. Turn my gas on, just hit the button, and it's that simple, and we're rolling. 
I'm gonna get this up to 350 degrees. I'm gonna go get my turkey, put it on a stand, and time to get to cooking that turkey. All right, let's drop this beautiful turkey in the oil. All right, we've been cooking about 45 minutes. We've checked this turkey and we're done. So I'm gonna kill the fire. We're gonna pull this baby out. Woo, look at that beautiful color. And let all that oil run off. Get her to the pan and over to the cutting board. We've pulled this turkey off the stand. We've let it sit for about 15 minutes. It smells epic. Remember, we're frying turkey, so it's gonna be a little bit darker and we use a rub with a little bit of sugar, so that's normal. Uh, I'm ready to cut this thing open. I can't wait any longer. It smells super good, so let's, uh, let's go. Look at that juice. Mm. The saltiness from the voodoo, all that injection in there, that Creole seasoning, super good. That's tough to beat. I love to smoke turkeys, but I probably like frying them more. If you like this video, subscribe to our channel. You guys get outside and cook something. See y'all next time.